So, uh, one of the people that follows me, I don't even know if he's a troll or not, okay, but he claims to be another uh, targeted individual. And he gave me some very good advice, which is not to feed the trolls, as they say. And he's very correct. Unfortunately, I, I look very tired because I just woke up from my afternoon siesta. But uh, he's right. And the thing that I want to do is I want to give Mary some advice. Okay? Mary, look. I think you need to involve an outside third party. I think you need to start seeking help from a therapist. Uh, and remember, this is just my opinion. I'm not telling you what to do. If not a therapist, at least seek out communication with a supportive person. I have given you my contact information. You can contact me personally and privately if you need somebody to talk to, okay, to help you, um, you know, just relax when they're getting you the way they are. But it's not helping you to become so aggressively... Um, it's not helping you to make some of the videos that you make, okay? And I don't want to see anything bad happen to you by way of, you know, these people harassing you into a state of mind that makes you do something that, you know, you're going to regret doing, okay? You have to remember this. The, the saying that suicide is a permanent solution to a temporary problem that's the case. That, that's true. Believe me, these people had me close to uh, considering what, you know, some of the things that you say. Okay? It's the truth. I'm not... Look, we have a very similar situation. I think you said that your father had committed suicide as well. Okay? I think I probably had a better relationship with my father than you did with your father. Uh, but it's important to understand that, yes, yeah, suicide is a permanent solution to a temporary problem. These people are transient. They're not important people. If they were important people, they wouldn't be doing what they're doing to make money. So how that works is they make money off of your reactions. The reason they can't do that with me anymore is they removed the one thing that was getting me to react, okay? Once they removed her from the equation by uh, using her against me and me finding out how she was being used against me, I don't really care. I, like, it's it's done and over with. It's done. I feel terrible for the fact that these people do what they do to people like you, okay? Uh, and I see them trolling the hell out of you in the comments section, trying to get reactions out of you, trying to push you further and further and further. Uh, but the thing that you need to do now is you need to, like, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just saying this is, if this were me... And I was thinking objectively, and I know how hard it is to think objectively. That's why I'm telling you to, if you can, reach out to me or anyone else that is an objective third party offline, not online. The only way that this can be solved is offline, not online. So what I'm telling you to do is a couple things. Number one, do not get rid of that shovel. No matter how much money somebody offers you for that shovel, do not get rid of that shovel. That shovel is a piece of physical evidence tying Daywave to you, showing that they have given you harassing, threatening, and intimidating things in the mail. Okay, because they have bragged about sending you that shovel. They bragged about sending you that shovel when they were bragging about how they're going easy on me. Okay, do not get rid of that shovel. That shovel is physical, tangible evidence that they have been basically sending you threatening things in the mail. Okay, trying to intimidate you, trying to upset you. Okay, number two, seek out a professional, a mental health professional. Go to a crisis unit if you're feeling unsafe. Okay, try to get some legitimate help from a third party. As I said, if you need my help in uh, to give statements to law enforcement or statements to the people at the hospital, or statements to anyone at crisis or whatever, to show that you have not been making this up. There's oodles of evidence that they've been harassing you through emails and comments, and you have screenshots of these things. Don't get rid of them. 
Don't delete any of your emails. Keep all of your emails, particularly the threatening ones, particularly the intimidating ones, particularly the ones where they're harassing you. Okay, so keep those. Don't get rid of them. But what you need to do is you need to involve an objective third party. And whatever you do, do not go on YouTube and say the name of your therapist or where you're getting therapy or anything like that because that's how they contacted your previous therapist. Don't do that. Don't let that happen. Okay? These people work off of intimidation. For example, the other day, they work off of intimidation and they try to get you to react emotionally. For example, Royce the other day was saying that uh, he wanted to point out that I drove a Cadillac DeVille to try and make me uneasy. Uh, like they know my car. Well, they've literally sent people over my apartment. They know where I live. They know where I'm at. They follow me around. I know all this. It doesn't intimidate me. But I understand that it can be intimidating to you because you're a woman, okay, a defenseless woman. I've pointed that out, and that's why I find this particularly disgusting what they're doing to you. It's very disgusting what they're doing to you as somebody with a mental illness and as a defenseless woman, okay? However, as far as I know, these people have not engaged in any real physical violence. They have engaged in terroristic threats. But the only way this is going to get solved, it can't be solved on the internet, and it can't be solved by calling the police on people on the internet. I've tried that. It doesn't work. How it can be solved, though, is by getting mental health counseling. Making a mental health counselor, a case manager, uh, a battered women's shelter, uh, anybody that is an objective third party aware of what's going on. And you have that shovel as physical evidence that they're doing what, they're, what they say they're doing. On their shows, they say they did that. They bragged about doing that. They brag about intimidating you. They brag about threatening you, okay? And I will give statements to anybody you need me to give statements to. Remember, you have a gajillion emails from these people, okay? So I'm not going to be really making any more videos about you. Um, I have to get back to making my own content. But I will still support you by sharing your, your videos. And I will, sh I will try to support you in the comments of your videos. I don't like doing that too much because it's just annoying and boring, honestly. Not because of you, because of them. I don't like doing that. But I really want to see you get some help. I really do. Even if that help is just communicating with me or any other supportive person in your life, that's cool. If I were you, I would try to take a little break from the internet Try, not even the internet, just from YouTube and where they're harassing you. Try to take a little break. Try to regroup. Try to gather your thoughts. Okay? Try to sort everything out. And please, please try to get help. These people aren't worth ending anything over. Okay? You're an extremely strong person, Mary. I know because I've lived through similar situations as you. I've lived through homelessness. I lived through my father committing suicide. I lived through uh, physical abuse as a child. Uh, I've lived through um, a lot of things that are very similar to what you've lived through. So I understand how strong you are. But the thing is, you can't be strong if you, if you allow these people to get you to do bad things to yourself. And I don't want to see you do that. So take care of yourself. And if you feel like it, contact me. I've given you my contact information. Good luck and best wishes, Mary.